Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to make a 4 layer PCB board in detail and this is the schematic of an inverter circuit built in AutoCAD piecewise. To build a 4 layer PCB board for this inverter circuit we need to change footprint for each and every component in the circuit. To change the footprints download package symbol library from the below mentioned link. To change the footprint of a 10k resistor, we need to know its physical size first. You can see this is a 10k resistor. Now as we know the physical size of a 10k resistor, search for a suitable footprint in the PDF which we downloaded earlier. So you can see footprints here, RES 400, 500 and 1000 so on. And both the resistor RES 400 and 500 are a good match. So pick one of these and let us take RES 500. Before changing the footprint, you have to check whether RES 500 is available in Cadence software on your desktop. So to check, go to Cadence SPV 16.6 Share PCB PCB library and symbols. Now drag to R and you can see yes there is RES 500 present in your symbols. Click on rename and copy RES 500 without the extension. Double click on the component and go to PCB footprint row and change the footprint with RES 500 click on yes and apply and close it now you can see the footprint for a 10k resistor is changed with RES 500 to show the variation of footprints I am changing it for a 10 ohm resistor so check the physical size of the 10 ohm resistor so this is a 10 ohm resistor and now go to the package symbol library which you downloaded earlier you can see RES 1000 it, it is suitable for a 10 ohm resistor so repeat the same process go and check it in the library So now you can see RES 1000 is also present in the PCB library symbols. So right click on it and rename it and copy the RES 1000 with no extension. Double click on the component and go to PCB footprint row. And change it with RES 1000 click on apply and select yes and close this now you can see the component is changed with its footprint RES 1000 so change the footprint for each and every component in the circuit for any component you can check footprint in the corresponding data sheet which are available online once done changing all the footprints of the schematic, select all the components and right click on it and go to edit properties and scroll down to PCB footprint column and now you can see the footprint of each and every component are changed. it after changing footprints we need to create a netlist so to create a netlist go to design resources and double click on it you can see dot dsn here so select the dot dsn go to tools and select design rule check so it shows if any errors are present okay Okay.
again go select the .esn file tools and annotate and select all the options which are selected here click ok yes ok yes and finally to create the netlist go to tools and create netlist select all the things which are selected here to open a board in PCB editor we are selecting this option click on ok yes and yes the netlist is created so after the netlist is created you can see there are no errors detected and no oversight detected no warnings detected and done with the create done with the creating netlist and as soon as the netlist is created a window pops up like this so select allegro pcb designer and click on ok so the pcb editor window op opens up from here i'll explain the making of pcb in 12 steps so so step 1 is to create a board outline to create a board outline go to setup select outline in outline select board outline and give the board edge clearance as 200 mils and select place a rectangle so the rectangle width is measured in width and height is measured in mils in PCB I mean 1 inch is equal to 1000 mils so design a board outline by considering your components if you have less than 10 components a 2 inch board will be enough as the inverter circuit has 43 components I am choosing a 6 inch board for it so the board outline should be 6000 mils now you can see a rectangle is attached to your cursor place it on anywhere and click on apply ok and close it now you can see the step 1 board outline is created step 2 is to place components you can place components in two ways one is quick and the other is manually initially I prefer doing quick place so that I can see all the components are placed or not so to place quick go to place quick place now you can see all the 40, 45 components here and click on place and now you can see all the components are placed 45 of 45 are placed on the board outline and click on ok and drag each one of the component within the board outline and this is how a quick, quick place works and to place them manually go to place click on manually select each and every component and place them manually within the board outline this is how manually placed works now you can see step 2 placing the components is done and step 3 is to add layers initially in the PCB it is set up to two layers by default to add more layers go to layout cross section you can see there are already two layers present and to add two more layers to it right click on any of the number and add a layer above and a layer below and repeat it once again and name one as VCC and the other as ground and select change the conductor to plane and the directory to plane and select the VCC and ground negative artwork and deselect the negative shield for VCC and ground and click on apply 
and click on OK. So we created four layers in layer layers in layout cross section control. Now go to options window and select the active class to edge and subclass to top. And now to design the layers on the board, go to setup, click on outlines and select plain outline. And now you can see layer, it's VCC layer. Click on browse and select V in for VCC and click on OK and select to draw a polygon and click on apply and OK and draw a polygon near to the board outline and see that no component is in contact with the layer Now you can see a layer is formed, then click on apply, ok and ok. Now to draw another layer that is ground layer, go to setup, outlines, plain outlines, click on ground and browse, click on zero, ok and select draw a polygon click on apply ok and now draw a polygon near to the VCC layer and see that no component is in contact with the layer and the ground layer is formed click on apply ok and ok you can see the two layers and to differentiate the layers change the colors go to display and go to color visibility go to VCC and ground choose colors pick one color from here I pick blue for VCC and pink for ground and don't change the DRC color because if there is any error in the board the error should be displayed in red so that it can be identified very soon click on apply and ok now you can see VCC is in blue color and ground is in red color so step 3 adding layers is completed step 4 is to set up constraints to the PCB Generally, if more amount of power or current is flowing in your circuit, the connections should be wide enough to handle the power or current. So, to set up constraints, go to Setup, Constraints, Physical Constraints and change this value to 30 and click Enter. So now you can see the constraints are changed to 30. Close it. With this step 4 setting up constraints is completed. Step 5 is routing. To route the component connections, go to route, PCB router, route automatic and route automatic router setup make sure that use smart router and enable diagonal routing are enabled click on route close and now you can see using the smart router the components are routed and now after routing see that the connections are in are not in contact with any of the drill holes such as um, see this is in contact with the drill hole so in order to avoid this click on slide so this is selected and move this 
So see all the connections and see that none of them are in contact with the drill size. Or you can connect them by adding a new connect. To add a new connect, click on add a new connect. So this is selected and click on one of the end and see that the connections if there is any error it shows an error if there is no error you can just click on it so it forms a new connection and check them clearly that none of the connections are in contact with the drill hole if they are in contact with the drill hole then the uh, ECP board becomes short circuit and the circuit board doesn't work with this we are done with step 5 routing step 6 is to create solder mask top to create a solder mask top go to display color visibility box in the color visibility box go to board geometry and click on oh before that turn off the global visibility off and click yes to confirm after that go to board geometry and click on outline if you want to change color for outline you can change the color and select solder mask top you can see solder mask top and select it or if you want to change color you can change the color of solder mask top and go to package geometry in package geometry select solder mask top and keep the same color which you decided for solder mask top and go to stack up and select solder mask top and change the color and don't change for the DRC column and click on apply ok so now you can see this is solder mask top created to add the solder mask top in the artwork go to manufacture and click on artwork and right click on any of the folders click add and name it as solder mask top while you are naming it see that there are no spaces between two words click on ok but do not close the artwork control form you can see that the solder mask top board geometry outline which you selected appears here with this solder mask top step 6 is completed step 7 is to create solder mask bottom to create a solder mask bottom go to color visibility box click on board geometry before that turn off the visibility and click yes to confirm go to board geometry and select outline and select solder mask bottom you can keep the same color or you can change the color if you want so choose a different color for solar mask bottom go to package geometry and select a different the same color for solar mask bottom and go to stack up and select solar mask bottom and change its color and don't change the DRC color column color and click on apply ok now you can see this is solder mask bottom which is created and go to artwork right click on any of the folders click add and name it as solder mask bottom see that no spaces are between two words click on ok do not close it with this step 7 solder mask bottom is completed step 8 is to create a silk screen to create a silk screen go, go to color visibility box and turn off the visibility and click yes to confirm go to board geometry and select the outline and silk screen top you can change the color for silk screen top 
go to package geometry and select fill screen top go to components and change the component value in the component value make the fill screen top the same color as white and the device type if you want and the ref disk are the letters that appears on the board such as C2, C3 the tolerance and the user part number are not required and click yes to apply you can see the sill screen is created with the value to add the sill screen top to the artwork go to artwork control form and click right click on any of the folders click add and name it as sill screen top after that go to manufacture and click on sill screen in the sill screen if you want, want the board geometry to appear on your printed circuit board click them as silk if you don't want them click them as none I just want the package geometry that has the values C1 and C2 and if you need the component value that is R1 equal to 10k or such as 10k or 10 ohm you can make it as silk if not none I don't want it because I'm marking it to none none so I am keeping the package geometry as silk and reference designator as silk and remaining all to none and make sure that the minimum line length is 8 and the element to pad clearance is 5 so click on silk screen with this step 8 silk screen is completed the sill screen top is completed if you want the sill screen bottom repeat the same procedure for sill screen bottom also after creating the sill screen top so choose each and every folder and make the undefined line width to 10 so change it for each and every folder and make change the undefined line width as 10 after changing the undefined line width to each and every folder select all and create an artwork and this creates an artwork for top bottom ground solar mask bottom solar mask top and sill screen top and this is the report for the artwork close it and click on ok ok and step 8 so screen top is completed step 9 is creating a fab drawing to create a fab drawing go to display color visibility and turn off the global visibility and click yes to confirm in the board geometry turn on outline and dimensions you can change the color of dimensions if you want and select the drawing format and turn on all items in the class by selecting all click ok and view zoom world and in the options window set active class to drawing format and the subclass to title data choose add text and in the options tab see that the rotation is 0 and the text block is 14 or 15 
depends upon your board length. So in this work area, click on one of the corners of your board outline or within that. So place the cursor and if you are working as a team, you can write your team name or your two team members name. After writing your team name, just click on the outside the board outline and choose done with this. Your sill screen is done and your board appears, the printed circuit board appears to be like this when you get the board and you get the team numbers on it. With this creating fab drawing step 9 is completed. Step 10 is to create a drill legend. To create a drill legend go to manufacture choose NC drill legend choose drill legend you can change the drill legend title if you want and click OK when the process is complete you can see a rectangle box is attached to your cursor place it outside the board outline so this is your drill legend. So to view the log file, choose file, view log file. You can see process of drill drilling is completed. So there are no errors in the processing holes. Close it. With this step 10 drill legend is done. Step 11 is to create NC parameters to create NC parameters go to manufacture choose NC click on NC parameters you can see that the format is from 2 to 5 you can remain it as it is and select options leading zero suppression and equal coordinate suppression and click on close go to file and with this the parameters are written to a file called nc underscore param dot txt with this step 11 nc parameters is completed step 10, 12 is to create nc drill to create nc drill go to manufacture choose NC, NC drill and click on drill. You can see the drill file is successfully generated. Click on close. To view the log file, file, view log, you can see NC parameters and NC drill are created. Click on close. With this step 12 NC drill is completed so we completed the making of PCB four layer board in total of 12 steps which is completed after completing the project of making four layer PCB board check the files are created properly or not so to check that go to the files where you created and click on them and go to Allegro and see the top part the artwork which we created that is top art, PCC art, bottom art and ground art and we created Solama's top, bottom, cell screen top and NC parameters, NC legend and drill log file. So Now I will show you how to order a 4 layer PCB board online. So zip the files, the Allegro files which you created and save them. These are the two websites where we generally order PCB 4 layer board or a 2 layer board. So I will show you how to upload the files and how to order the 
both so let us go to www.4pcb.com so this is advanced circuit website go to products and go to student program and go to PCB 4 layer board it is $66 each if you have registered already click here to login if you did not register you have to go and fill up your details so as I already registered register click here to login so login with the details and you can see a design file fold upload so click on browse go to the files where you created or save them click on it and you can see the zipped allegro file which we zipped previously select it open and upload now and you can name the part number as anything and the ribbon number as anything and dimensions are the dimensions when you created a board out outline if you chose it for 5000 mils make it as a 5 inch to 5, five inch board if you chose board outline as 6000 mils make it as 6 inch as I chose 6000 mils I am making it as 6 inch as X and Y dimension if you want the solar mask on both sides keep it on both sides if you want only on the top keep it on the top side as we created silk screen top so keep it on the top side and we want a four layer board and the quantity is one so if you mention student in the additional comments then you'll get each board for $66 if you did not mention it as a student you can see after filling the all the details you can click on preview order then the order will be processed this is oshpark.com website the other website this is much cheaper comparing to the advanced circuits website get started now so you you upload the same file allegro files here by opening it and give the address details and process the order this is our four layer PCB board which we ordered from advanced circuits 